walk into an Indian kitchen, you will travel through time, from past empires and into modern continents. Whether it's cooking on an open fire, or in clay ovens, in gastronomy labs, or in fast food chains, in every corner of the globe, you will find the essence, the aroma, the influence of Indian cuisine. Like India, the food is made of many worlds. And no matter where you are, it will remind you of home. Our sweetest memories, our mother's cooking, plucking fruit from a neighbor's garden, a stranger sharing snacks on the train, are of food. Breathe in the aromas of Indian spices, traded in ancient Mesopotamia and Egypt. The trade winds that brought us chilies and tomatoes, our golden harvests of turmeric and mango. This beautiful country is a melting pot that is always full. You know, some say you are what you eat, but in India, our food is who we are. Let's take a walk through the aromatic violins of Old Delhi with someone who knows those violins as well as he knows his way around traditional Indian recipes. India is such a large country with so many diverse culture and regions that even if you walk on the streets, keep your eyes, nose and ears open, you will get so many things which inspire you to create something. And tandoor is one such thing that from the grassroots level to the fine dining, tandoor is always there. There's a kebab guy, he used to do seek kebab and he started tossing it in a cream and butter, the charred kebab with the buttery thing. He has created something really unique. Everybody is familiar with the roast chicken or barbecue chicken. So same, we have tandoori chicken. And when it cooks in tandoor and the juices from that chicken and the marination falls on that coal and that juices generates smoke. Tandoori chicken, it looks black, it looks charred, but that is another flavor. So juicy chicken, the spiciness of the marinade, charredness and smokiness of the tandoor, that makes it a perfect roast chicken. शुरू में हम 1947 में तंदूरी चिकन बनाते थे। एक बारी तंदूरी चिकन बच गए, तो हमने सोचा इसको किस तरीके से और कोई डिश बनाई जाए जो कि लोगों के जबान पे आए। तो हमने इसके अंदर बटर ग्रेवी डाली, फिर क्रीम और मक्खन डाला, तो वो अरोमा अच्छा देने लगा और उससे वो बटर चिकन बन गया और वो पूरे व So butter chicken and the makhani gravy, I consider as the mother sauce. You call it a butter chicken, not because the butter goes in it, because the silkiness of the gravy, that is as smooth as butter. I think butter chicken is the most comforting, warming and cuddling kind of a dish which I can find anywhere in the world. Chicken tikka masala, which was invented in UK, was a complete derivative of butter chicken only, which is known all over the world as an Indian dish, that it has now become a global icon. What I do in my kitchen is taking Indian cuisine forward with a unique combination, bit of a modern technique, and a beautiful presentation. But at heart, it's the same Hindustani khana from different parts of India. 